Okay, so this video is for all the youth out there who are interested in flying. Hello everybody, my name is Ian, and today I'm gonna be talking about the Civil Air Patrol. So the Civil Air Patrol is a uh, organization here in the United States, and I believe they actually have some international squadrons too. Uh, you know, I kind of relate it simp uh, similar to the Boy Scouts. You know, they have a squadron in, in, in uh, multiple towns and all across the nation, and uh, it's basically, it's an Air Force youth organization uh, they specialize in uh, search and rescue, cadet programs, aerospace education, physical fitness, and all sorts of stuff. Civil Air Patrol is for kids from 12 to 21, uh, and you can also be an adult and be a member, but the uh, core cadet program is for kids 12 to 21, and uh, you wear the Air Force uniform. It's governed by the Air Force, so you're not actually in the military, and if you join, you do not have to, you know, join. you're not joining the military at all. So I personally was in the Civil Air Patrol for about three years, um, technically, I'm still on the books. However, I am uh, not really participating anymore. And I was in our local squadron out here in Paso Robles, California. Unfortunately, our squadron got shut down, uh, not around the time of COVID because we just didn't have enough kids. We probably had three or four cadets showing up every, every week and we just couldn't, you know, we just couldn't justify doing all that work for only a few cadets. So our squadron got shut down and that's the main reason um, I am not participating anymore is because I did not want to drive down to San Luis Obispo, which is our closest squadron um, every week. And, you know, I'm just busy. I'm just busier with college and things like that. So I just kind of fell out of the program. However, the program was very enjoyable and I really enjoyed the program the years that I was in it. Met a lot of really, really cool, amazing people and learned a lot of cool things. They have tons of programs. It's the reason I say it's kind of like the Boy Scouts is because you know how the Boy Scouts have a troop in every town or a troop in every county and it's all across the nation and they meet once a week and learn how to wear their uniform and do all that sort of stuff and then they can go out camping and go to events. Well, same thing with Civil Air Patrol. You know, they're in every county or every town and you go once a week and you wear the Air Force uniform, you learn how to march, you learn how to you learn military customs and courtesies, you learn how to public speak, you learn how to do all that stuff. And then you can go out to events, you know, whether it's like, whether it's uh, search and rescue mission training or uh, learning how to become an officer or learning how to become uh, a, a non-commissioned officer. You know, they're, they're, they have ground schools and flight schools. Um, they have so much stuff and it's a nationwide program. So anybody who's interested in flying, um, you know, Civil Air Patrol isn't necessarily going to get you your pilot's license. However, if you're interested in the military and you want to learn more about that, um, you know, it's a really, really cool program to join. Um, you know, it's a paramilitary organization for youth, essentially. And I would highly recommend it. Like I said, I was in the program for about three years. I reached the rank of Cadet Chief Master Sergeant, um, and I stopped promoting after that. However, I really enjoyed it. I met a lot of cool people and, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. There's there, there's just so many opportunities in that program. Actually, Civil Air Patrol conducts 85% on average of all inland, inland search and rescue missions uh, in the United States. So for instance, if I were to be flying this thing around, if I were to go crash and I was talking to air traffic control or center or something like that, and they have my general location, or I crash and my ELT goes off and it's sending off a beacon that I crashed, uh, you know, the Air Force is the first one to get called and uh, the Air Force monitors all emergency, you know, Air Force monitors emergency frequency everywhere. And so the Air Force gets called to come find me. And actually, and the Air Force will. However, most of the time, the Air Force actually dispatches Civil Air Patrol to go find a crashed aircraft. Actually, uh, some cadets around here did some training uh, just not a little while ago to do it. Um, you have to be a little bit older of a cadet. I believe it's 16 or 18 or older and you have to be out of school. I don't know. It's some things, but um, both cadets and adult members can be involved in that. Also, if you're an adult member, you can uh, fly for them. Um, they have mostly Cessna 172s and so you can be a mission pilot or just an orientation fly pilot and uh, fly around uh, cadets. So yeah, if you're interested in aviation, if you're interested in anything aerospace or STEM, if you're interested in the military, please uh, look them up. The website is GoCivilAirPatrol.com. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, if you like the video, hit the like. If you dislike the video, hit it twice. Hit the dislike button twice. With that said, I'll catch you in the next one.